I guess, like, you know, there's people all over the, you know, all over the world, you know, running Persistence Farm and everything that Rebbe's doing here, many other places. Uh, but, like, I guess, you know, what's in the Kuda that makes this tzaddik or his teachings different from, uh, from so many other great yeah, tzaddikim that, uh, right. that, that makes it maybe speak more to the people now? Why, why, does, why does the Rebbe's Torah speak so much to our generation? It's a very good question. I was to me them. It's uh, really caught on fire before the war, but the Rebbe's Farm, particularly after the war, are resonating with the, the generation speaking for us. I thought about that a lot. And the way that I understand is how it began to speak to me. But first of all, the Rebbe was far ahead of his time. Just when, when it opens up Tavzat Almidim, the methodology, the psychology, very, very modern. It's a very, very modern safe. He himself describes the transformation that took place post World War One, for whatever reason, why did things change in in um, in how children were looking at their parents and their teachers, and the, the need to be able to adjust to the changes that were taking place socially, psychologically, everywhere in the world. The Rebbe was very sensitive to that to those changes that were taking place. So the Torahs were very modern by nature. The, the Chavz HaTamim is an exceptionally modern savior. It speaks to modern men, and the psychology, the methodology, are, 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 are at that time are way ahead, way ahead, many, many years ahead of the farm, and it's speaking very much to our generation. Uh, this whole, the Chavzat of course, is the most famous and widely distributed safer, widely used safer, is a manual for raising children and for, raising, and for teaching students. Uh, the Rebbe had his finger on the pulse of the generation. Those Sadiqim who were who were all the, all the tzaddikim are great. There were particular tzaddikim, certain tzaddikim, that they had their finger on the pulse of the generation. They got it. They were connected to the people. They were part of the people. That's Aleph. So that was something even before the war. That was before the war. Post Aleph. Let's go ahead now to post Aleph. And these last years were from Shia Khans. You know, one of the most popular songs in recent times is I feel of our story which so has story which of course is an adaptation of one of Rabbi Nachman's stories not exact but an adaptation of one of Rabbi Nachman's stories the Rebbe lived through the darkest times the darkest time in Jewish history the, Hest, the Hestapana the unbelievable Hestapana that the Rebbe lived through and he grappled with that darkness his stories especially in Ace Kodesh his terrors are the expression of the heart of a the outcry of someone who believes deeply in God, who loves Hashem, and is torn apart by that concealment, but never, ever, ever lets go. I think that speaks to our generation. We're not living in any kind of a Holocaust. Thank God, things are much better than they used to be. But the post-Holocaust generation, and particularly now, the kind of anxiety that people live with, the, the terrible amount of despair and depression, the Hestapon. The Hestapon. The Rebbe, the Rebbe's Sarm are Shulchan Aruch, especially Eish Kaidish. The Shulchan Aruch, the how to, how a believing Jew is to survive a feel a starship of some Hestapon. And I think that, that resonates with, with people who are, who feel surrounded by terrible darkness, not from the Germans. Darkness that comes from many, many challenges that we have nowadays, difficulties. And the Rebbe, the Rebbe was heroic in, in, in reaching out to Hashem from that, from that darkness. Though the Sholach Yodom and Achor, Hashem, my beloved, reaching his hand down from the, from the terrible hole, from the emptiness. The Rebbe, the Rebbe showed us how Hashem is reaching out to us in the darkness. And I think that, that the generation that is, is suffocating from, from Hestaparim is, is, grabbing, is grabbing that hand in desperation. That's what I feel. I think that that's what I felt growing up and when as a child of survivors, as I wrote in the introduction right. to the same as a child of survivors, I just felt that it was the first person that was enclosing my questions and my crying in, in words of terror. It's not, I'm just, it's not that crazy. This is, this is a way of terror. There's a way of terror. How to deal with, how to respond to evil, how to respond to what seems to be Hashem turning away from us. How, for, how, how does a Jew contend with this? This is very, very, this speaks very much to modern man. I mean, the, the other, I guess it's a follow up, but I guess you know, just one more question. You know, the, the, the Rebbe has, uh, has, I mean, it's, 
it's like I, I feel like Rebbe has a, a very strong drive towards doing things to to uh, to honor and elevate the soul of the tzaddik and to connect to the tzaddik uh, through the through the shul. I mean, Rebbe has the hilula, uh, gives it for dinner. I mean, it's, a, it's a very big event of the shul's life, and uh, and then the uh, the then the Sia mashas that, that everyone learns the Ilu Nishmas brings out snare. And now Rabbi, you know, requested that this the sefer of the, of the Torah from the Hilu was, you know, come out and, and be available to Hilu. And so I guess just I guess what it makes like all of those efforts, like you know, obviously there was the Shiram also that they were beginning shul, but but like I, I guess it's like what's driving that? It just feels like there's like a never ending drive to like do more for the tzaddik or to connect to the tzaddik. Maybe I just I just wonder. Well, it's very there. simple. If I, if I'm on level to hakar as I I feel that I owe my life to I feel that I, I owe my life to, to, to the peace of um, Not that I was considering taking my life, but I felt myself drowning uh, in, in the darkness of, of, the, of, of the generation after the Holocaust. And, and thinking about my parents' misery and suffering, and, and wanting very, very much to, to be able to love Hashem despite all that happened to my parents and my relatives, my whole family grandparents, everybody was killed. I, I wanted to, and I, and I, and I, I really felt the Rebbe's hand pulling me out of that hole. And a lot of it has to do with our present time. That's on it. Base, there are, there are, whatever led me to name the shul, that, all that I'm talking about is what led me to name the shul after the Rebbe. I believe that, that the Rebbe's teachings, um, the Rebbe's teachings um, are the lifeless the vitality of our shul, even though I'm not always talking about the Rebbe's terms, although we've been going through this far over the years and we finished many of his things, but I believe that the, the neshama of the shul is very much bound to the Rebbe, and I feel the presence of his soul in this place, and with my people here with our Shabbat, I feel his presence, I feel his presence very strongly, I feel the presence of the tzaddik, like it says in time, if, if the tzaddik dies in a certain way, he's able to be more, we're able to be more connected to him, and he our Christ, even more than, than while he was alive, he had, now he's no longer encumbered by the body. I just, I just feel that, I feel that, that it was Ashgach and Protus, that I, I, I come from Hungarian Jews, I'm not from Poland, my family's not from Poland, but I, I have felt from the beginning that somehow, it's not just that his, his face is on the mural when you walk into the building, but I see his face in every single inch of this place, everywhere I turn, I see, I see the Rebbe, I spoke about it by some of the ones, and I feel that he is, that he is the source of a lot of the inspiration, and the encouragement, the schaskas that we have, and, uh, and, 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 um, and I want very much to connect with to him. I want him to feel our hakaras of power, his nisham to, to be aware of this, and that we should be able to draw more deeply from everything that he wanted from us, that he believed we were capable of accomplishing. Amen. Good luck, thank you. Good luck, thank you.